Tech Hub for a smarter you. This is Tech Hub, your one stop platform for all things tech in Africa. So, what are the odds that towards the end of 2023 and at the beginning of 2024, a lot of Hollywood movie lovers might not be able to have access to and enjoy the blockbusters that comes out of the stables of so one of the greatest movie industries ever. Could it be very much connected to the strike that's ongoing? The writers and so many workers there, even A-list actors are joining in the fight. And they're having concerns about, well, some payments and the rest of them, and specifically the use of AI in getting the job done. And you're asking questions, why should people this rich, famous, they have everything at the top of the finger, why should they be worried about artificial intelligence? Emeka Rolas, someone who is very much in the industry, who understands everything that's going on, and also the president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria, explains it to us in the simplest term possible, and is helping us understand why this conversation is a one that we must all have. According to the Screen Actors Guild of America, SAG AFTRA, they're going on a strike for the purpose of better negotiations, more especially when it has to do with the application of artificial intelligence in how a lot of big studios are currently investing in artificial intelligence. But to, to make us understand it very clearly, for maybe for a layman, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is, is an ability of a computer or a robot to be controlled by a computer to do almost everything the humans can do. Now, in the aspect of our industry, a film studio may decide to use artificial intelligence to get a voice of an actor and use that voice to make a production or a film. So in that project, you will see the person, you hear the voice of a Mecca Rollers, but it is not a Mecca Rollers that is speaking. That's artificial intelligence. Then a robot can actually be designed to look like a Mecca Rollers. <laughs> not just look like a Mecca Rollers, a replica of a Mecca Rollers, you know, in a robotic movement, which means that robot can actually be used to make a film. Now, the Screen Actors Guild of America, who is also a co-affiliate member of the Federation of International Actors, began to seek negotiations with the studios. Because if you allow this thing to continue, what it means is that actors will no longer make money from the craft that they love. So they are saying, let us sit down a round table and change negotiation practice that what we have been using over the years is no longer applicable with the introduction of this new technology. And of course, it is something that affects us globally. Perhaps the biggest threat, the threat that could almost make us be out of work, be obsolete, is artificial intelligence. This is the discussion that SAG is presenting at different meetings. And that's the, the, the essence of the strike. This is pretty intense. In what way do you think technology has thoroughly impacted the entire ecosystem of the entertainment industry, specifically the film industry, even here in Nigeria? I'm pretty sure there are ways that technology has impacted, maybe positively, or even on the other hand, negatively, the um, film sector, not just in Western or developed countries, but also in, our, in Nigeria. The world in, the, in this century is technology. Without technology, we won't have the VCD platforms. Without technology, we won't have the streaming platforms, whereby you can sit in your house with phone and see the film you ought to have gone to the cinema to see. These are all technology. When it comes to artificial intelligence, every technology comes with its fears, you know, very palpable fears. For instance, when, when the issue of POS was introduced to us in Nigeria, almost everybody was like, can it work in Nigeria? But today, even the average market woman has a POS. So while artificial intelligence is coming, 
it has its fears. We will be looking for positive areas we can make use of them to better our industry. The technology has played a very good positive role for our industry, you know, in terms of growth. Uh, if I just oppose it with what AI is going to do, one positive way AI, with artificial intelligence, an actor can actually interpret his role better than you understand. Because artificial intelligence is involved in, even in reasoning, even inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning, artificial intelligence is involved. So if you look at it that way, you can just bring a script. AI can actually read the script for you and tell you, internalize the roles and say, look, if you want to play this role, you have to be A, B, C or D, E, F, G. <laughs> it's a positive way of impacting the industry. So it's not going to be all negative for us, but we are trying to prevent something that may likely happen. There is no technology in the world that doesn't have its merits and demerits. Today, we are talking about climate change. We're talking about what fumes, what smokes is doing everywhere. All of those technology that we are emitting fumes into the air, they were all done to help man. But today, it's turning something different. People are inhaling smoke. I'm sure you must have had where a small generator had to kill an entire family just from the smoke that came in from the window. Of course, they didn't buy the generator to come and kill them. They bought the generator to come give them light. And of course, they benefit from it. But it turns the other way around. So uh, technology is like, is like um, growth in the world. Everything good in the world has areas where it's bad. When you see people drown in a river that have over the years helped that community, you begin to ask why. But this is it. You have electricity. Today, every area, you, everybody needs electricity. But when one is electrocuted, you begin to ask why do we need electricity? So as humans, whatever we meet as we grow, or as technology helps us, we also find ways to make better use of that. Fantastic um, perspective given to us, Emeka. I really appreciate that. Imagine that these things we watch in sci-fi movies, um, that were somewhat, they inspired some of this, you know, AI experts that we see today. Looks like it's coming back to, <laughs> <laughs> looks like it's coming back to bite them. What an irony yes. it is. <laughs> Talk to us, how does, Africa play in all this now? I mean, what's the future like for the film industry in Nigeria, Africa, the, the continent as it were? Um, when it comes to the utilization of technology, do we see what is happening over there somehow happening here? Why we are not striking here is because AI is not here already. We don't have big studios that have started investing in AI. That's why we're not, we're not striking. But it's a global phenomenon. It's something that will affect the industry globally. Africa is playing big, more especially now that we have some foreign companies coming in here to handle, uh, coming in here to see how they can make money from our industry and also grow the industry. Then for us, we are open. Our hands are open for that growth. And uh, you, you must understand also that it was since we, we had Netflix, Amazon, and a whole lot of other big organizations, studios that came here, that's when we began to aim in quality filmmaking. So you now see a Nigerian film, you know, filmed very well and is making waves in Netflix and all of that. And that's how growth is. It continues gradually, gradually, and all the components, different countries sign film treaties with Nigeria and we do co-productions. And when we begin to do co-productions, a whole lot of these things will change. An average actor in Nigeria will begin to earn royalty, earn residuals, and the industry will definitely grow. But we're just waiting for the time. Fantastic. This in royalty and residuals that, you know, the, the workers in, in uh, what's it called, Hollywood are really fighting about this time around. We just do hope that it balances struck somewhere between the intersection of AI and entertainment industry so that everybody can have fun. Right now, we're even so scared that... We... For us, we're also talking about it. Yes, absolutely. So it must be absolutely. Balanced. 
Absolutely. Thank you so much, Emeka, for joining us on the conversation. How much you can, through tech, impact your community? The people who watch my videos, the people who see me and see what I represent, those are the people that I'm online. Tech Hub is your one-stop platform for all things technology in Africa. Tech Hub, for a smarter you.